She gets the eagle. She gets the second sweeper. What? What a suey. We're back with episode number two in the MCS versus Entropy Gaming best of two matchup. If you missed match number one, it was yesterday's video. Go check it out. Hurry, click away. Spoilers, okay. Entropy Gaming got the win in match number one, 13 stars to 11, but they were down on percent by 15 buildings because MCS had like 17 time fails. My goodness, so now let's see what's gonna happen here in match number two. Who's gonna get the victory? And who's going to be moving on to the semi-finals? We got Entropy going in with the first attack of match number two. Bringing us some Clash of Dragons. We got five Zaps and an Earthquake. Lots of Super Dragons. Og Rider. With the Charmander Boy. We're going to snipe that Archer Tower. Okay. Sweet. Charmander going to be responsible for the Town Hall, I guess. We got the Quake to wake it up. Does that mean he's gonna zap the single? Yes, interesting. Single target Inferno Tower goes down. Charmander will be able to get the Town Hall. Got a couple balloons to snipe that Archer Tower on the right, sure. <clears throat> there goes the first Super Drag. We're gonna see all the Super Drags from four o'clock. Queen and King to walk from three up toward 12. Looks like that's the plan. And here we go. Just gotta give them plenty of time to get in there. They're a little slow at first, but once we start raging them up, they will move pretty quickly. One Super Dragon gets distracted by that Tesla. Oh man. <clears throat> There's a Tornado Trap. Another Tesla pops up. Here comes some CC troops. Lots of archers coming out of that clan castle. King and Queen still looking strong, making their way up toward the top side of the base. There goes the Warren ability to keep everybody alive as we make our way through the core. A Witch and a lot of Headhunters come out of that CC. Town Hall drops. Looking decent. Super Dragons fly up to fight the enemy queen. Down she goes. Lots of air scalies. That's okay. RC from the top side of the base. Dragon's still looking somewhat healthy. They're splitting. Oh, they're starting to get wrecked. Last super dragon on the south side goes down. Warden's all by himself. Only one super dragon alive on the top side, but the RC is there. The heroes are still alive. The king gonna go down. We got a rage and two freezes. He's gonna let the warden die. Charmander's gonna pop soon. We rage the royal champion and freeze. We're trying to keep her alive. Only one freeze left. RC has ability. Queen has ability. We got the Charmander troops. We freeze the back end, scatter and expo. RC can pop her ability and it's still gonna work. The super dragons are unstoppable. The CC troops are basically swagged. We don't even need them at all. That's how powerful that Charmander is. My goodness gracious. How about that? Plenty of time for cleanup. The RC goes up. Queen and Balloons will go down. 97, 98, 99, and 100%. It's a three star for Entropy Gaming to start this match. Kingsman is in with a Queen Charge Hybrid. They need nothing but triples in today's matchup if they want a chance to beat Entropy. Entropy are looking very strong today. Let's see what Kingsman can do against Reen's base. Minion to funnel the pet house. Queen to walk left. We're probably just going to go for a simple town hall charge. There go a couple of Coco Loons. He's not going to wall break just yet. I think he wants her to walk up and around first. We're going to wall break right on the top corner. Okay. Sure. He's delaying the healer deployment so we can make sure the Giga Inferno is not going to hit those healers. Queen steps up for the storage. We should be able to get the Town Hall next. After the gold mine, I guess. There we go. Town Hall will drop. We're going to rage. Does the Unicorn stay alive? We got a Hog on the left side. Unicorn goes down, unfortunately, but that's not the end of the world. We send a couple more Hogs for that Warden Tower. Pre-trigger the Tornado Trap, at least. Uh, there goes the poison spell. He's gonna have to rage up again, probably, because of the Warden Tower. Wait a second, I could have sworn. Wasn't the Warden Tower shooting the Queen? Now it's not? Bro, I must be tripping. I missed something, I don't know. But Queen's alright. She'll be able to deal with all the pups. She's looking strong in that top side compartment. Do we hybrid from the left? Yes, we do. Here we go. King and Siege Barracks on the outside. 
Hybrid making his way in toward the scatter shot. Probably gonna heal early, save warden ability for a little bit later. There goes the first heal. Still got two rages. Oh my gosh, this is actually looking really strong. He could probably afford to use one of these rages for the hybrid. Still holding on to the warden ability. There goes the next rage for the queen. We're gonna freeze in the core as well. Where's the warden ability? There it goes. We're gonna rage up the hybrid. We can pop queen ability. Uh, he decides to freeze single, keep queen ability intact. Yeah, I mean, I guess. More hogs in the siege barracks coming on out. We got the last heal on the south side of the base. Still got an invisibility for the royal champion. It's looking really solid. I think he's got it. But let's see how these traps are going to affect the hybrid. RC and hogs making their way through the scatter shot. The expo. Queen still alive. Looking good with the ability. This is crushed. This is crushed. We pop Queen ability. We can pop RC ability. We can swag the invisibility spell. This base got absolutely deleted from the internet. Beautiful textbook Queen Charge hybrid from Kingsman. MCS starting off with a three star and we are all tied up. Bats is in with little super dragon action. We got an invisibility spell. No clones on this one. Rocket loons, expecting to get that air defense. Oh, oh, and he does. Nice. Snipes that air defense. Battle blimp for the town hall. Probably with sneaky goblins. Where's the CC? All the way the heck over there. Town hall should drop. No tornado trap to stop him. And here we go with super dragon straight into the clan castle building. Double rage, early as heck warden ability. Here we go. They're gonna melt through those CC troops, melt through all the enemy heroes. Queen at six o'clock, King out in front as well. Hurry up, Super Jags, hurry up, you're taking too long. Ooh, none of them go for that air defense on the left. Getting a little wonky. Ooh. Bro, they're all pathing to the outside. I don't like that. Oh, now they're starting to come back in. This pathing is extremely weird. We're going to send Royal Champion to all the defenses the Super Drags miss. Probably going to have to freeze up that single. Yes, we froze up the scatter shot for the Queen as well. We raged the Royal Champion. Okay, okay, I can dig it. Down goes the Eagle. Down goes the Wizard Tower. The RC is actually getting a ton of value inside that Rage spell. Might need the Invis for her. We're going to go with the Freeze. He's going to have to pop ability. Boom, 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 boom. Down goes the scatter. We got an invis. We could use it for her. Oh yeah, nice invis. Down goes the single. We got a dragon rider on the top side of the base. That RC still alive. The warden somehow dies before everybody else. Down goes the scatter. Down goes the bomb tower. Bro, it still works. Oh my gosh. It looks so wonky, but it still gets it done. These super dragons are nuts the queen stays alive one super dragon lives to tell the tale we skipped the gold storage but he's got a backup balloon for it that royal champion with a rage spell and like three freezes did take out like half the base that was pretty crazy down goes the gold storage and it is another three star for entropy gaming nachoa is in with the next attack for MCES. Coming in with a little Queen Charge Lalo action. Here we go. Queen on the right side with some healers. Gonna have to rage her up to get through the Royal Champion. The scatter shot, the expo. The wall break was successful. We use a Yeti to funnel. There goes the rage. Coco Loon is in. No traps found thus far. Skeleton trap. Queen will be able to easily deal with that. Mini on the right side to snipe the cannon. That's looking decent. We got two more wall breakers still to use. <clears throat> Where are we going to send them? Queen steps up for the other air boat. Nice wall break. Going to be able to send her straight in toward that multi targeting Inferno Tower Chamber. Queen looking healthy so far. We're going to rage her up with the healers. Which way is she going to step? The multi not going to be able to hit the healers while we fight the CC troops. That is crucial. We go with the poison. We go with the freeze. King on the top side with the wall break to give him access to the eagle artillery. Queen's looking really strong right now. We might need to rage her up again very soon. He's taking a lot of damage. 
There goes the next rage. Warden Tower is no joke. We got the RC in to help the king, but she gets out in front. That's going to cost us a freeze spell. King ability was late. We got headhunters late as well, but they'll help us get through the king. Not really. Queen beating on a wonky wall. We got the Lalo in from the left side of the base. Battle blunt for the town hall chamber. Okay. Queen gonna have to pop ability just to get through that enemy king. RC making her way to the core. We don't have her ability, but we got an invis to make sure she gets the multi before she dies. Free spell, battle blimp on the town hall, rage spell, balloons, dragon rider, down goes the town hall. Down goes the air defense. It's looking decent, as long as the giga poison doesn't kill all the balloons. Queen beating on walls, just doing what queens do best. Balloons make their way over to the single target inferno tower. Next is the builder hut. We got more balloons on the south side of the base. We snipe the archer tower. Ooh, I think it's looking good for Nachoa. Beautifully executed. Queen charge Lalo from him. Gonna be able to smash this base here. It's another three star and both teams are two for two. Addy is in with a little Lalo action here for Entropy Gaming. Ooh, nice. Lalo against a box base. Let's see how we're gonna do it. Queen with a giant. Probably trying to get that town hall with the queen. King to walk up. We got a baby dragon. We got a wall breaker for the king to go in toward the scatter shot. Skeleton spell to help him out. Royal champion in between the king and the queen. King gonna pop his ability. Take out the RC. Take out the skelly trap. Take out the scatter shot. It's looking decent. Queen hopefully will go inside. Take out the town hall chamber for us. Here comes CC troops. We got the double poison to help the RC get through it all. Lots of archers. Queen needs to go to ability. There goes the second poison. We need to invis that RC. And we do. Please tell me she gets the scatter. She does. Looking real decent. She's going to get the single as well. Bro, can she get the eagle? He has another invis. No freaking way. She gets the eagle. She gets the second sweeper. What? What a suey. From Entropy Gaming. Wow. Nicely done. The entire core is gone. We pop an early as heck warden ability. Headhunter's going to melt that enemy Archer Queen. We still got a stone slammer coming in from the left side of the base. A lot of spells to use. Oh, wow. This base should be crushed. We got like three freezes, three haste, a whole rage still to use. Tesla farm over here on the back end. Not going to be that big of a deal. There's the tornado trap. We freeze the Tesla farm, the expo. We rage through everything. Balloons to distract the back end wizard tower. It's single target inferno towers, which aren't going to do a whole lot to our balloons. There goes a haste. <coughs> we can freeze the back end if we want to. The stone slammer's never even going to pop. This base is getting absolutely demolished. Oh my goodness. A whole minute and two seconds for cleanup. Wow. Impressive stuff from Entropy Gaming. They are going to be three for three here in this matchup. What an impressive Sui from Addy. That Royal Champion got so much value. The Stone Slammer finally pops. We get the CC building in the core and it is another triple and all the pressure now on MCES. Remyo is in with a little super dragon action of his own. Early Charmander from the top side of the base with a giant out in front. We'll be able to snipe that archer tower. Nice and early. We got the quake to wake up the town hall. Perfectly done. Two zaps for the sweeper. Oh, the giant pulling archers out of the CC is not ideal. We're gonna use the poison early. Okay. We need the quake. There goes the quake. Town hall awake. Charmander should get the town hall. What's next? You just gonna be patient? I think so. Down goes the wizard tower. We're gonna wait like 10 years and the town hall will go down as well. Got a lot of rages, a lot of freezes to utilize in this attack. Archer from 12 o'clock to grab the buildings that Charmander skips. Town Hall will go down and let's see how he's going to do the Clash of Dragons attack. From the left or from the right? Hmm. I don't know. Looks like he's going to go from the right. 
Looking to clear all the trash buildings on the outside. Here we go with the Dargans. Making their way inside. We're going to deploy the Queen behind the King. We go with the Rage. Pop that Warren ability nice and early. Headhunter coming out of the CC. Charmander's still alive. Is there a Lava Dog in that CC? I'm surprised Charmander hasn't pulled it. He's just right on the edge of that circle. And we pop the Charmander. Only air troops in the CC, so we're not going to pull that Lava Dog out. That's good good news. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. We rage and freeze to get through the court. Super Dragon, Dragon Rider on the left are doing a decent job. Where do we send the Royal Champion? Ooh, we freeze the Queen. That left side multi is going to stay up. Uh-oh. We pop King ability. King and Queen are looking okay. Lots of Super Dragons making their way down south with the Warden to support. We got a Rage and two Freezes still to use. We might need to send RC to that core. He's already in from the bottom, though. We Rage up. The Super Dragon on the top side is going to go down. Uh-oh. We need somebody to take out that core multi or else we're going to be in trouble. RC stuck on Skellies. We got to pop her ability. Mm, it's looking wonky for Remio. Only 30 seconds as well. Oh, the multi stays up. This is a big rip. Queen is beating on what might be the worst wall she could possibly beat. Not even joking. She beats the wall just to beat another wall. Oh, Queen. My goodness. Super Dragon trying to take out the enemy Royal Champion. Not going to be able to get that job done. And we're going to fall short at 84%. Nice try. Remio. Green is in with a more clash of dragons. Here we go. Hello, Tesla farm. Battle blimp with a hound in front. We got super minions, I bet. There's the invis. Yes, sir. There's the rage. There's the next invis. Where's the clone? There's the clone. Drops it very late. There's the next invis. Only one invis left. There's the next invis. We're all out of invis. Can you guys go for the town hall or nah? Woo! Cutting it a little close there. Town hall drops. They were fighting CC troops the whole time. That's why. We sneak in a couple balloons for the Archer Tower. Okay. I think a Blizz would have gotten better value than the Super Minion clone in this situation here. Uh-oh. Super Drag's from the top side of the base. He doesn't funnel very much so we're gonna lose one super drag to the outside queen to walk from 12 over to nine <clears throat> super drags will eventually make their way to the core Ooh, that one got absolutely toasted yikes queen steps inside the walls king's gonna go on the outside though we're gonna need to pop this war in ability the queen already went to ability oh man this is looking real sketchy for reen why is the warden keeps strafing to the right we don't get queen and the warden ability because of that Queen beats through the wall. She's struggling to stay alive here. Can she outlive the scatter? We're going to freeze to make sure she stays alive. Royal Champion already in from the right side of the base. We're pretty much out of spells. We got the poison and that's it. Pop the RC ability to get rid of the Tesla farm. Does she get through the scatter? With the help of that Super Dragon, she might. We don't have any cleanup on the right side. That's like 10 or 15 buildings over there we could have gotten. Owl... Takes the Seeking Airmind to the face. Down he goes. The Warden goes down as well. I think it's going to be a defense here. How much percent can he get? One minion would have been nice to get like an extra 10 buildings over there. These barbs are going to go down and we're going to fall short. <clears throat> the Super Drag is going to be able to get a couple more buildings stuck on the King right now. The Queen and the Warden Tower are probably going to kill him. And it's going to be like a 73% attack. Nice try to rain, but it's going to fall short. Huge defense for Synthi. Can MCS still win the best of two? Hold on. Look at these stats real quick. Uh, oof. I don't think so. Unless Entropy one star, it's pretty much all over. We'll see. Synthi is in with the next attack for MCS. Coming in with a lot of bacon. Oh, baby. Here we go. 33 hogs. We got a skelly donut as well. We're going to start over on the right side. The Charmander. Heck yeah, we are. Ooh, but there's a double skelly. Wait, wait, wait. Does the Charmander shell kill all the skeletons? <gasps> nice. That was pretty cool. 
The Charmander shell kills both skeleton traps. Wow. But we do get an awkward three archers coming out of the CC. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is he... He has to drop a couple of his own archers, and we're safe. Yes, okay. Interesting. When does he do the Skelly Donut? He's being very patient. Wake. Skelly. Ooh, here we go. Hello, Tesla's in the core. Did he drop everything in the right spot? Well, it's not an easy skelly donut. The CC drops. Do we get the multi? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Multi drops. Oh, baby. Charmander on the town hall. It's looking good for Synthy. We got Sneakies on the bottom side to help funnel. Wall break in. Sure. Ice Golem. Queen. Gonna go in toward the enemy queen and the scatter shot. Okay. Town hall drops. Charmander should go for the single as well. King to help out. I like it. Lots of balloons for the cannon and the bomb tower. Here we go with the bacon from the top side of the base. Eagle artillery locking on to our row of champions. So we're going to go with an early as heck warden ability. Triple giant bomb. It's a good thing he popped warden ability first instead of healing. Otherwise, there would have been so much bacon over there. Charmander still doing a good job on the right side of the base. We heal as we make our way to the core. King and Queen doing a, an amazing job on the south side. We got a clean up miner in the bag. There goes the last heal on the left. Freeze the Eagle Artillery. <clears throat> Royal Champion looking very healthy. We've got more hogs in the Charmander, probably. We freeze the Eagle again. No more spells, but he's got the RC ability. More hogs in the Charmander. 45 seconds for cleanup. What an attack from Cynthia. I think it's going to work. We get through the Tesla farm. We get through the last Skelly Trap. He still has the RC ability. That is a crushed base. Beautifully done from Cynthia with the Hog Riders. Going to absolutely bully Bully's base with 20 seconds to spare. That is a three star. Nicely done from Cynthia. You love to see the Hog Riders. Bully is in with the final attack for Entropy Gaming. Coming in with a little queen. Charge Lalo action. We start with this queen on the top side of the base. She's going to walk to the right. Okay. Hog Rider. What was the point of that Hog Rider? I have no idea. It was a swag rider. Oh, it was just a test for traps for the Charmander, I guess. We got Queen. Making her way over toward the scatter. Gonna need to rage her up. Rage, rage, rage. Woo, it was a little late. But she's okay. We got the Quake to wake up the Town Hall. King to funnel the Queen inside. We might lose a healer to this air defense. Maybe not. The Double Skelly's gonna stall her up. We need Charmander to hurry up and take out that air defense. Come on, Charmander. Or else we're going to start losing healers soon. Ooh, we're going to lose at least one. Might lose two. King on the right side. We invis the healers. He rages. RIP Queen ability. This is looking really, really wonky, dude. We're going to lose another healer. We're freezing. Oh, jeez. Headhunter's going for the king. We pop king ability. We got the poison spell. Charmander, where are you pathing? He's going for the town hall, right? I think so. Poison spell for the pups. Eagle artillery locks onto the queen. How many healers do we got? Three. And no queen ability. We rage up. The king did not get the air defense, which is also awkward. We're going to Lalo from the right. Those balloons are taking way too much damage. Bro. Queen dead. He let all the balloons die and then popped Warden Ability. What the heck? Bully. Charmander gets the Town Hall. We rage and freeze. Healers are on the Royal Champion. There's way too much base to get through. Way too much. The raged up Royal Champion charge is looking pretty strong. It's going to allow him to get through a little bit more than he should have. But it's still going to fall short. Minions on the south side to get a lot of percentage points. We got the RC ability. Can we get through the single in time before it roasts her? No. Warden takes a seeking air mine to the face. Charmander is our last hope. But he too is going to go down. Scattershot still stays up. Very nice try to bully. But he's not going to be able to get the job done on this one. 
Dragon Rider goes down. Balloons make their way over to the air defense where they're going to fall as well. And this one, not going to get much more than 82. In fact, that's exactly where he falls short at 82%. Arium is in with the final attack of the match, bringing us some Queen Charge Dragon Rider action. We're going to start with a sneaky, some balloons, early battle blimp. Okay. Battle Blimp, gonna land right on top of that scatter shot, rage up the Yeti Bomb. We take out the Royal Champion, we get the CC pool. Sure, sure, sure. Which way do we start Queen? Queen on the top side of the base. He's gonna go in toward the multi. Here comes some headhunters. Ooh, might have to freeze. And he does. Are the healers in range of that air defense? Oh gosh, dude. This is, oh, poison. Looking a little wonky. He's having to drop so many balloons just to make sure he doesn't lose healers early. Whew. Looking so sketchy. Queen will eventually go in toward the multi. We still got another two balloons if he wants to use another Coco Loon. Might need to. Got an archer on the right for the mortar. Queen steps inside. She'll get the cannon. She'll get the Inferno Tower. Okay. Gonna have to fight the enemy king. Do we have a headhunter to help support? We're just gonna rage. We're not gonna use a headhunter. Very interesting choice. King gonna walk left. Where are we gonna be able to wall break? Ooh, I can see it on this junction by the elixir storage. Yes, dude, that's such a good wall break. Queen will have access to the town hall and we can dragon rider from the right. We're gonna need something to get that core multi so we don't lose healers. He's waiting a little bit too long to start the riders. There goes a Rage. There goes a Freeze. Come on, start the Riders so somebody can take out the core. Here we go with the Riders from the right side of the base. With the Royal Champion. Gotta get all the way to that core multi before the healers get targeted. We send Headhunters from a very interesting angle. Healers are getting hit pretty hard. We gotta go to Queen Ability there. We pop Warden Ability on the right. Queen still not going for that Town Hall. We got an Invis. Ooh, we're gonna go with the Freeze though. Healers taking a lot of damage. Dragon Riders are getting the core multi. Now we go with the invis to save the healers. RC pops her ability. Still got two Dragon Riders on the south side of the base. One more freeze in the bag. Might need it for the Royal Champion. We're going to use it on the Town Hall. Was that the right call? I don't know. It's going to be close. Dragon Rider gets through the Tesla. We got a baby dragon for the cannon. He still might get this. Queen goes down. Minions in the core. Hello, Tornado Trap. Wall Breaker doing some damage to the air defense. Tornado Trap stalling him up. Hurry up, Dragon Rider and Warden. Come out. Air defense drops. Dragon Rider on one HP. 18 seconds. Hello, Trap. Seek an air mine. Warden, snipe the Archer Tower. Yes, you go, girl. Warden gets the Archer Tower, 98%. Wizard Tower is the last defense. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two seconds to spare, and it is a three star for Arium and MCS win match number two. Right as my Wi Fi cuts out, rip. Nope, there we go. But too little, too late, as since it was a best of two, Entropy Gaming won match number one by two stars, which means they win the best of two. So GG's to Entropy Gaming, they're gonna be moving on to the semifinals of the Champions War League playoffs.